hey there welcome back to coding stuff so in the previous video we have successfully inserted data in our database so in this video we'll see how to retrieve data from sqlite database so at the first we'll just create one method that will help us to show the data so public void show uh, let's name it as a show message and here we'll pass one title and the message okay so we will be creating here one dialog one alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder equals builder sorry equals new alert dialog and we have to pass your context so this now we'll just create uh, the alert dialog so builder dot create then builder dot set cancelable so it should be cancelable so we'll pass here true and then builder dot set title and we'll pass our title here then builder dot set message set message and that will be our message that is parameter and then finally we'll just show that uh, show this alert dialog so builder dot show okay now we'll just minimize it and now uh, what we are going to do we'll just uh, create one method here to retrieve the data so public sorry public void show data and we'll just uh, add on the listener to our show button new on click listener and we'll just call this method here show data okay now we'll jump into our database helper file and we'll create one method here to retrieve the data so we'll name it as a public a get data okay so we have to give a return type as a cursor so anything that is coming from the database it will be in the type of cursor okay and we'll pass here string id and the first thing that we are going to do is we'll just create one instance of sqli database and we'll take permission this dot get writable database and then we'll just uh, write one query that will be select all from table name where id equals single quotation mark then plus id this id then plus double quotes and single quote cool now we'll just uh, create one cursor so cursor cursor equals tb dot raw query and here we'll pass our query and the selection arguments will be null because we don't have any arguments that's it and we'll just uh, return cursor here okay now we'll minimize it and then jump to the our main activity okay so at the first we'll just collect that id so string id id edit dot get text dot to string and we'll check if this id is empty so id equals string dot value of empty string then we'll just set the error to our id edit text so set error and this will be please sorry please enter id and we'll just return it okay after this we'll just create one cursor mydb dot get data and we'll pass the id and then we'll create one string so string data first we'll null it then we'll check if uh, this cursor can move to next 
then we'll set the values to our string data so data equals first will be id and then concat it with a cursor dot get string and here we'll, we'll pass index as a zero then the next line then we'll pass your name then cursor dot get, get string and it will be index of 1 plus the next line now I'll just uh, control D so this will be index 2 and this will be email okay so this is good I will just show the dialog so show message and we'll pass your title as a data and then we'll pass your string okay so everything is fine we'll check uh, it's working or not So in the previous video we have inserted data so we'll check uh, we'll insert id1 and check if there is data or not so it's installing so yeah now it's installed so we'll just uh, write one here and we'll click on show data so you can see here data is showing perfectly now we'll add one more data so let's say we'll add the data and data is inserted and now if I give our ID as a 3 and click on show data so the data is showing perfectly so in the next video we'll see how to delete the data and how to show all data so make sure you subscribe the channel so thank you for watching